Okay, may we have your attention, please? If Dr. Kara will Dr. Kara will now speak. So I would appreciate if you can. Uh, my name is uh, Musaddaq Ali Karrar. I'm a BDS holder from University of Khartoum, 2002. I am uh, uh, obtained my MD in oral maxillofacial surgery and German Board of Oral Implants and Arab Board of Oral Maxillofacial Surgery. I'm Assistant Professor of Oral Maxillofacial Surgery in National University of Sudan, and I'm a specialist in Khartoum Dental Teaching Hospital. I would like to start my presentation by a few words from my country, Sudan. Sudan is uh, located in the east of Africa. Uh, the capital is Khartoum where the Blue Nile and White Nile rivers join to form the Greater River Niles. And exactly this is the area where the arrow. Here is the joining of the two Blue and White Niles. We have a very lovely touristic places. This is a port, Sudan, the main port from my country, and it's a very lovely place for diving. We have a different culture and different religions. We have a Muslims and we have Christians and we have a very lovely touristic place. This is the pyramids in Al Bajarawiya in the north of Sudan. And this is my uh, home country, mainly um, Abu Hamad, known as Abu Hamad in the uh, north of Sudan. Back to my case, I would like to start with uh, the intraosseous adenocystic carcinoma, which is uh, to whom they don't know what is adenocystic carcinoma. It's a malignant tumor of major and minor salivary gland, which is mainly a soft tissue tumor. And the intraosseous uh, variants, it's a very rare tumors. In a recent review by Garcia et al., just only 21 cases have been reported. The history started when a 47 years old female referred from a rural hospital to our uh, hospital, the Khartoum Dental Chink Hospital, which is the main and the biggest tertiary center for oral maxillofacial surgery, complaining of swelling at the anterior part of the mandible for four month duration associated with pain and mild pain and numbness in the right side of her lip. In clinical examination, there was localized, well-localized swelling, expanding the labial mucosa, as the picture shown here, mainly as some remaining roots. The orthopantomograph showed a well-circumscribed radiolucent area extending from uh, a little bit mesial to the lower seven in the right side to the uh, uh, canine in the lower left side. The coronal CT scan showing the cortical expansion mainly in the lingual area and in the buccal area with no perforations. A provisional diagnosis of an infected amyloblastoma, which is the main, the, the, the most common odontogenic tumor, benign odontogenic tumor, was made based on the location, which was intragenetic, and the expansion, with, which was bicortical, and the numbness, which can be explained by the infection. Surprisingly, after incisional biopsy was taken, the, re the result was form pattern of adenocystic carcinoma. We didn't expect that. As I mentioned, it's a soft tissue tumor rather than a bony tumors. The histopathological report, it's further confirmed by immunohistochemistry, where an S100 and epithelial membrane antigen was positive for this tumor. And this is further confirmed the diagnosis. According to the PASTAC's diagnostic criteria for primary intraosseous salivary gland tumor, 
it should be their four criteria. The radiological evidence of osteolithic tumor, intact cortical plates, the intra intact mucous membrane, and uh, absence of primary tumor in the minor and, and, and major salivary gland, and hostil hostil histological confirmation, all of which have been found in this case. The patient subsequently uh, taken for the operation room and an incision, uh, and the tumor was excited through a combination of intra and extra oral approach. This is the picture showing the area of the reconstruction where the iliac crest mainly was taken from here. And this is the intraoperative surgical uh, picture showing the plates here. This is the deconstructed plate at the lower border of the mandible, and this is the resected place before the introduction of uh, graft, the bone graft. Here is the OPG after the operation, showing the reconstructed plates here with circumferential wiring for more stabilization of the uh, graft. Six months later, the reconstructed plate was removed and uh, a sulcus deepening was performed, so the patient was referred for the prothodontics department for uh, replacing the tooth by removable partial denture. As you know that uh, we are a low income country, and the patients cannot afford uh, implants uh, in, a, uh, in a term of uh, financial uh, problems. This is the whole my lecture is about. Uh, I would like to thank the committee and uh, the, the audience for their uh, attention. And this is my lovely daughters. Uh, Noon is five years and Lynn is three years. Uh, I, I, I do believe if, any, if, if there is anybody who is around maxillofacial surgeon, I, do I know that, that uh, the case is not very interesting. But if you have a question, you are welcome. We have uh, lots of time. <coughs> For questions to Dr. Akara, are there any questions?